to Working on Fire News. In the news this week, the 7th of May was a very important day for many South Africans as we all went out to cast our votes for our government. We followed Hendrik Banda, our firefighter, to see him make his mark. Passion, commitment, and dedication. This is how John Mashaba lives his life. We spoke to this firefighter from the Metafin base to find out what hard work means for him. We unpack the details of our seven-year contract between working on fire and government. We look at how International Firefighters Day was celebrated across the country. But first, our top story. Working on Fire is an award-winning essay government program which was established in 2003 after a disastrous fire in which two working for water staff were killed. The program started from humble beginnings and now boasts over 5,000 beneficiaries across the country. The FFA group has successfully implemented the Working on Fire program over the past 10 years with several short-term contracts. FFA operations has recently been awarded a long-term 7-year contract to implement the Working on Fire program until 2021. The MD of the FFA operations, Mr. Trevor Abrams, explained the benefits of having a seven-year contract. For us, it's a huge uh, boost in that for the first time, we're able to plan on a long-term basis instead of the shorter-term contracts we had. In the last year, in fact, it was just a one-year contract. We now have the space to plan and try and also prepare for a future for our firefighters to grow in the program and even to grow out of the program. Trevor also explained the impact of the seven-year contract for our beneficiaries. The Working on Fire program is an EPWP program. As such, government still sets the parameters of, of who we can employ, how we can employ them, and how much we can pay. But what this does for our firefighters is that we as the FFA operations company now have the space to plan and say, look, those of you coming to our ranks as firefighters, please look at the opportunities to grow, go up in the program. We look at giving you skills which you can use as you grow up in the program, but also to in fact be able to access the job market for, for jobs in the regular employment sector. The seven-year contract is a huge departure from what used to be in terms of the contractual obligations. It puts very detailed obligations on us to deliver a whole lot of outputs for government at the risk of penalties if we do not. It allows us to do commercial work, which is often referred to as COMOPs, and that money comes back into the program, must be invested back into the program. It allows us to go and do corporate social investment fundraising, and where we bring money into the program, that obviously allows us to do more with the program. Mm -hmm. It also looks to change our relationship with our partners where the Working with Fire program is seen as a government subsidy and where those partners who can afford it will also be asked to contribute more to the overall budget of the Working with Fire program, whether it's in cash or in kind. Senior management gathered in Nelspreet to witness the launch of the new brand. <laughs> The long wait for the new company brand is finally over. It gives us great pleasure to announce that Kishugu is the new brand going into the future. What was formerly known as the FFA Group of Companies, internationally acknowledged implementers for over a decade of the award-winning South African government's Working on Fire program. Kishugu, which has its roots in forest and wild firefighter fighting, suppression and prevention, is set to light up the global stage with its international experience and strategic approach to integrated fire management and a wide range of related services provided by 11 aligned divisions. Kishugu means uh, teamwork globally in order to change the lives of our employees, of the communities, of our clients and uh, contribute to uh, the environment in a global on a global scale. 
the Kashuga brand is, is, is for us exactly what we need to take the brand, to take the company globally with the diversification that we're planning to embark upon, which we've already embarked upon in terms of forestry, training, aviation services. There's a host of new things outside of the integrated fire management uh, work that we do, which is where the Working on Fire program sits. So Working on Fire is one of what we do, but we do a lot more than just a fire, a, a fire business. International Firefighter Day is a very important day in the lives of firefighters as we look back and celebrate the lives of firefighters that passed on in the line of duty. International Firefighters Day is observed each year on the 4th of May. On this day, we remember the past firefighters who have died while serving our community and dedicating their lives to protecting the safety of us all. At the same time, we can show our support and appreciation to the firefighters who continue to protect us so well throughout the year. In January this year, we lost Bongani Nkala and Kahisho Mutlabane from the Divestor team in the Free State who died when their vehicle overturned while they were on their way to a fire. This is how Working on Fire honored the day by visiting their two families and Working on Fire also went to their gravesite to show their respect. On the 3rd of May 2014, the Overstrand Municipality hosted their fourth annual International Firefighters Day in Hermanus, where firefighters from Working on Fire and different municipalities in the Western Cape attended the event. The event started off with a fire and rescue motor parade through Hermanus, made up from representatives of various municipalities. The opening parade and the day's activities started at the Old Harbour, where Working on Fire's firefighters opened with a national anthem and speeches followed. The ceremony also featured speeches by the local mayor and chief fire officer on behalf of South African Emergency Services Institute, known as SAESI. They also gave recognition to the families present and the importance of the day was explained. And in the Eastern Cape, working on fire firefighters from the Mazam Nyama and Fort Donald's teams braved the cold and rainy weather to hold a minute of silence in recognition of all the fallen heroes who gave their lives in fighting fires. Special mention was also made about their two colleagues who lost their lives earlier in the year in the Free State. In Nelspreit, the Mbombela Fire Department, Disaster Management and two working on fire teams from Lefba and Matafin attended the International Firefighters Day at the Fire Department. Today is a memorial and appreciation of the firefighters, uh, their duties that they perform, as well as the fallen firefighters in the line of duty. The working on fire firefighters entertained the crowd and the event ended off where the fire chief presented each and every firefighter with a blue and red ribbon and also explained the meaning of their colors. The ribbon itself represents uh, the blue, uh, represents the water that we use and the red, the fire itself, which we uh, battle every time. That is to appreciate the effort of the firefighters and to say thank you for the commitment and the effort they do each and every day of their lives. Fitness is a very important aspect in the work that the firefighters do, as some firefighters can take all day. John Mashaba, at the age of 62, still measures up to the fitness standard of working on fire. John Mashaba, Musuga, I pay some as a sender spread. Musuga, I push back rich a kaya. Nafiga, I work on fire, Moksail. Bangkashe, Dengi Triba, more 2010, June. Eki enjoy or Bengi enjoy a driving. Fair Guamela Bang to Mele Cape Town, a efficient crowd. Oh, my enjoy and happy two days. Gapanga enjoy, Angsanga Katar. Kalongo Compass, you one. 
The 7th of May marked a very historic occasion in the lives of South African voters as they all went to polling stations to make their mark. We followed Hendrik Banda to see him as he cast his vote. day to me because uh, today I'm going to vote uh, to vote is my right and uh, today I'm going to vote it's going to be my fourth time to vote uh, that is shows to me uh, I must vote and because I, 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 I must have a voice if there's a something that is not good in our community. Because uh, if you, you, you didn't vote, uh, you, you can't talk if there's something that it is not good to your community because you, your vote is you didn't, you didn't give to someone that you show about him that you will stand for your right. So today I'm happy. Uh, it's a fantastic day to me. Yes, I now uh, everything it is good to me because I already vote. Uh, I put my vote in the vote, vote uh, what they call it, it's a vo uh, voter's box. Uh, now I have a right to say something if I can see something is wrong, more special where where I staying now we hey, we are running short with a lot lot of stuff lot of thing there we don't have uh, water uh, even our road is not good uh, people they are struggling there they don't have a good house uh, what can i say a good shelter uh, so now as i already vote uh, I have a right to say something see, to this government. Drilling plays a very important role in maintaining team discipline that the team works together as a unit. The drill master is responsible for leading the team during the drill session. Master, you need to be disciplined, and for them, they'll look at you and they'll listen to you. The drilling prepares firefighters to quickly react to orders when faced with fighting fires and emergencies. First, the discipline. We, it's where we, we get people to be disciplined. It's where you can notice 
where people lack in terms of discipline. So we bring together everybody together, formality to be um, disciplined because we take them through the fire line and we, we need them to be disciplined, we need them to, to listen the supervisors to the fire line. So first thing, the parade, the drilling, it's where we notice kind of things. So being a drill master, it's, it's, it needs a person to be motivated and, and to be committed also as, as, a, as a firefighter. And the attitude of the drill master should be positive so that it filters through to the rest of the team members. To be uh, the parade master early in the morning is to check the readiness of the team. How, is, how are the people uh, going to operate, uh, to go out to the field for the day to, to, to went for production actually. So it's to, to see how are they ready. So to see the, the concentration, team building and motivating them. First in the morning, first of all, I must also uh, do an inspection to, see their, to, to, to maintain discipline. If someone is wrong to correct that particular person, not that it is a punishment, but this uh, discipline to maintain the discipline. And we also, if I can quote the half triangle, it says uh, physical uh, and training and discipline. So if you are uh, disciplined firefighters, at the morning parade, you need to be clean. So we need to rectify that each and every day. So to me, uh, coming, coming here because I'm fresh, maybe from the cause, uh, since I'm coming from left part team, when I joined Matafen team, uh, I, I find myself being in the comfort, comfort base because it is closer to my community. So that's why I can able to work hand to hand. But in each and every, every daily basis, we need to motivate those people so that they can become also crew leaders as well. I was an IEC official since from 6 a.m. until uh, it's around uh, uh, 2 p.m. 2 a.m. So it was uh, around 17 hours work. So we did uh, work there uh, helping the community, but I was neutral as the IEC uh, official, electoral, independent electoral commissioner. Then the election went well. There were no violence at the station. So it, hel it helped us. It became easy to us to, 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 to help the people. So my, my role was the, the voters' role officer. I was verifying those who are in the vote, voters' roll list, those who are not in the voters' roll list, they will go, I refer them to the presiding officer to, to fill up the Section 24 uh, document so that they can able to vote. So that was my role. That is all that we have for you in the news this time. Keep on watching Working on Fire News. See you next time.